Sitting there, looking at your units and thinking about your loadout on how to beat the next stage, you probably won't think about it that much. But have you considered that perhaps some of your units may be using tactics that are considered odd, unusual, or even perhaps inhumane? Well, what if I were to tell you that some of them are war criminals? Now, the definition of a war crime is a bit tricky to exactly define, but generally, in a short sentence, you would describe it as an action committed during times of conflict that is seen as a violation of war, or acts in a war that is considered a severe breach of international law. In this video, I will be trialing each unit as if they were a human. And now I could go the easy route and say they're all war criminals because you could just go to the New York stage and attack the Statue of Liberty because attacking cultural sites is considered a war crime, but that's boring. So I want to see which unit specifically would be classed as a war criminal. I mainly use the unit's descriptions and their attack animations to judge if they were a war criminal, and I'm only covering units I am 100% certain are war criminals. I might have missed some, probably because I wasn't 100% confident if they were one or not. I am also only going to be discussing non-collab units because I don't know every series the game is collabed with and I cannot be bothered to do that research. So, who is ready to receive the Sword of Justice? The first two on our list are Flying and Manic Flying Cat. They are receiving the charge of indiscriminate attack. Both of their descriptions state that they have destroyed a city without considering targeting a specific area. All four of the Dragon Cats are being charged with the use of incendiary weaponry. Even if it's a part of their biology, flame-based weaponry is outlawed from war. Mythical Titan Cat is being charged with the use of child soldiers thanks to cats in the cradle. I think it should be obvious that you should not bring your children to a war zone. Mother Cat is also guilty of this, even more so because she is actively using her child while attacking. Next on our list is another case of indiscriminate attack with Bahamut, who is stated to have started an entire apocalypse. What reason? Who knows, but this lands Bahamut a case of indiscriminate attack. Wheel Cat across its three forms is being charged with two different war crimes. One of them is incendiary weaponry from Wheel and Solar, while the other charge is weather manipulation, since it would have to freeze the air around it to shoot its ice, so Chill Cat receives that charge. Just like Chill Cat, Ice Cat is being charged with the case of weather manipulation thanks to her ice abilities. Greater Balrog Cat is also being charged with the case of incendiary weaponry thanks to his burning club. And now for the second unit in a row, Elemental Duelist is being charged with a case of incendiary weaponry. Kidnapper Cats and Rampage Cats are charged with hostage taking since the Tank Cat is being held hostage by three Macho Cats. Shishimi and Xmas Pudding Cat are being charged with desecration of the dead since carrying around a corpse to try to use it in combat is considered illegal. Windy is being charged with weather manipulation, this time it's the manipulation of the wind that lands her this charge. Thundia, unlike Windy, isn't charged with weather manipulation thanks to her just being able to summon electricity, but this doesn't mean she is scot-free, because using electricity as a weapon can be considered a form of torture, which has been outlawed. Adult Cat is being charged with the use of fragmentary weaponry. Using a glass bottle against someone can inflict wounds that can leave the victim in extreme suffering. Now for our only case of sexual violence is Gentleman Cat. Flashing your bits at someone isn't as harsh as actual sexual assault, but the fact is that it's still a form of sexual violence. Masamune is being charged with a case of using a serrated weapon, mainly in his second form since the several scythes on his shield have a noticeable serrations etched into him. Urashima Taro is guilty of using a bioweapon, aptly named T-R-U-T-L-E, and using said T-R-U-T-L-E for incendiary weaponry. Nurse Cat is guilty of two crimes. One is the use of whatever is in her syringe to attack enemies, which constitutes poisoning since the syringe actively harms whoever she uses it against. Another is the use of incendiary weaponry, as seen in her Yuletide form. Kalisa has a tendency to banish people to what can be assumed to be a pocket dimension she isn't too fond of, from her principal to boys who confess their love. Kalisa is guilty of hostage taking. Corrupted Psycho Cat is also guilty of hostage taking, however, a case could be made that he is unintentionally making these black holes, as description implies that he's unknowingly making these portals, so he could get off on a case of insanity. Now it's time for the most obvious case of incendiary weaponry, being Kachi Kachi, as they are literally just straight up using a flamethrower. Extra Life Cat is guilty of desecration of the dead, as using someone's grave as a weapon is just a disrespectful move. Zeus is guilty of electroshock weaponry, not even the Greek gods are going to escape the Sword of Justice this time around. Anubis is guilty of desecration of the dead, although Anubis could get a pass from the court since it is his job to guide souls to the afterlife. Hayabusa, however, would not get so lucky, as when his Oni and Akuma forms, he uses a sword that appears to be inflamed, landing a charge of incendiary weaponry. Cat Tornado actively became a tornado-like being just so he could skip school. 
This is an obvious case of weather manipulation. Now since Caternado was probably not in a tertiary institution, like a college or university, he could receive a lighter sentence since the courts are usually lighter on those who are underage. While not guilty of any actual war crimes as far as I can tell, Strike Unit REI is stated to have been built with technology that is banned by international law. However, it doesn't specify what technology she is using. Since she is a mech, we could assume that some sort of drone technology was used during her construction. Currently, drones aren't outlawed from warfare, but there are a ton of legal implications that come from autonomous drones. Mighty Bomber is guilty of the use of fragmentary weaponry, since their bomb appears to be made of wood, which can leave painful blisters and leave deep wounds due to the wood being able to dig deep into one's skin. Now using water isn't normally a war crime, but manipulating water to the extent of weather manipulation is. Poseidon is guilty of two cases of weather manipulation and a case of brainwashing. For his cases of weather manipulation, he is known to manipulate both the sea and the wind. For his case of brainwashing, in his second form, it is stated that he can command sea serpents to do his bidding, usually to kill those who don't obey Poseidon. Miku Matama is guilty of incendiary weaponry, but would only get the charge if it was her oracle form since Miku Matama herself is a child. The Rock Revengers and the One Hit Wonders are guilty of incendiary weaponry since their stage spews a ton of fire. Miyamoku Musashi also receives a charge of incendiary weaponry, even though the flame is meant to be ghostly, like a will-o'-wisp, but even then, ghostly fire is still fire. Ekutawea has the charge of desecration of the dead, since consuming the souls of the damned isn't exactly the best thing to do. Easter Cat is the only case of a booby trap, since the Maui head inside of the egg is not able to be seen at all. Trickster Himiyuri is guilty of using incendiary weaponry, as she lights three spell tags on fire and throws them at her enemies. In her evolve form, these turn into drums. Just like before, we have another case of incendiary weaponry thanks to Immortal Yoshimoto using his fans to light a flame and using said flame to attack his enemies. Now before we get to our next war criminal, I just want to say that if you're enjoying the video, why not give it a like because I put quite a bit of time into this video and if you aren't subscribed to the channel yet, you know which button to press. Come on, hit the subscribe button. Greyflower Verbena is being charged with desecration of the dead by cannibalism. In her description, it implies that she just straight up consumed some poor dude. Now we have reached the Elemental Pixies, a set of units that are all guilty of committing a war crime, except for one singular member of the set. So let's rapid fire through the guilty war criminals. Bora is being charged with the case of incendiary weaponry. Air, Misley, and Bliza are being charged with weather manipulation. Air for manipulating the wind, Misley for manipulating the seas, and Bliza for summoning snow and ice. Yamin Noir is guilty of indiscriminate attack as it's implied that they summon a void that can destroy entire planets and Lumina is guilty of using fragmentary weaponry as her crystal glass structure can shatter and impact cruel pain against an enemy target. Finally, Volley is guilty of electroshock weaponry by summoning lightning bolts like Zeus. All of this is to congratulate Gravi for being the only elemental pixie who is not a war criminal. The Kitty of Liberty is guilty of incendiary weaponry. Glass Cat, being made of, you know, glass, is guilty of using fragmentary weaponry for obvious reasons, and Sakura Sonic is guilty of incendiary weaponry. Cat Clan Heroes, who summons a meteor shower, makes them guilty of indiscriminate attack because of the unpredictable nature of a meteor crashing onto the surface of the planet. Not even Cat God the Great is safe, as he is getting hit with two different charges, one for being a case of weather manipulation with the use of his wind powers, and electroshock weaponry for his third attack. Lone Cat and Kitten is guilty of using a child soldier during his assassination operations. Wargon Musashi, despite his awesome looks, is getting slammed with the case of using a serrated sword. Granted, the serration bit is a lot longer than usual, but the fact is, is that the sword is still serrated. Mighty Crystal Mew is guilty of indiscriminate attack thanks to them using the unstable crystal that they have on hand. Lazvos Reborn's description implies that he intends on destroying the world as Bahamut did, which lands him with the case of indiscriminate attack. However, he actually hasn't committed the act yet, so he could get away with it. Hades the Punisher is in a similar situation as Anubis. However, unlike Anubis, Hades actively meddles with the souls of the dead, which I hope makes it obvious of what Hades is guilty of. Kazli the Bane, specifically, her second form, can be charged with a possible case of indiscriminate attack as her description states that being a personification of disaster itself from absorbing her enemy's powers and being a chaotic being means that she can cause chaos anywhere she goes. Miasma Cat, being a pure cloud of pollution, is just chemical warfare. Hell Warden Emma uses her vehicle to attack, which spits a ton of flames, in a case of incendiary weaponry. Mighty Etur LTD is guilty of indiscriminate attack because of the boombox device they carry around that causes havoc wherever they go. Lilin is being charged with two separate charges, 
one of which is unethical human experimentation, as it stated she experiments on her classmates and other is hostage taking, as in her summer form, it states that she uses cocktails to lure her victims to use for experimentation. Hevyak, using his three heads, launches flames at his opponents, and as established several times before, incendiary weaponry is not allowed. Lord of Ruin Jagandu Jr. is stated to be in his terrible twos, and how nothing is spared from his wrath, meaning that he will attack anything indiscriminately. Elder Beast Nala summons electricity from the sky, meaning that this is the only case of weather manipulation to summon lightning, meaning that, unlike the other lightning users, Nala doesn't use a machine, a part of itself, or a weapon to summon it. Gas Mask Cat's Mask Splits Fire Look bud, even if you're allergic to the plant, doesn't mean you're allowed to set it on fire. Oh, and Cat Tengu, you can't be lighting your clawed sword on fire. Extraterrestrial and Van steals a bunch of cows, and even though they are livestock, I will still consider this a form of hostage taking. And our last war criminal is Mushroom Cat, for the use of biological warfare, as Mushroom Cat uses their spores to attack their enemies. So, to tally our war crimes, we have a total of 77 different war crimes, and about a third of them are incendiary weaponry, with 24 cases. Our next highest case is of weather manipulation with 10 cases, then 9 cases of indiscriminate attack, 6 cases of desecration of the dead, 5 cases of hostage taking, 4 cases of fragmentary weaponry, 4 cases of electroshock weaponry, 2 cases of serrated weaponry, and 2 cases of biological warfare, and a singular case of poisoning, inhumane experimentation, chemical warfare, booby trapping, brainwashing, and one case of sexual violence. To tally their total sentence, the average war crime that doesn't hand over a death sentence is worth 20 years in prison on average. The total years for their sentences together would be 1,540 years. So, this video was based on these two amazing videos I would highly recommend watching because the amount of time these two have put into their videos is honestly astounding. With that, this is the end of the video, so if you enjoyed it, why not leave a like? If you enjoy my content, why not hit that subscribe button and leave a comment on who do you think is the most despicable war criminal? With that out of the way, I hope you have a wonderful day.